Good morning, everybody, and happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, October 1st, and here are the announcements for today. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. Well, we are wishing on this very first day of October a happy birthday to Sarah Alvarez Rios and a special happy birthday today to Miss Sanchez. Happy birthday to you. Celebrating over the weekend, we have Miss Ferguson, Jasmine Quintanilla, Samantha Medina, and Gabriel Mota. So happy birthday, weekend birthday to you. And here is the news from Dr. Lopez's Nest. Good morning, Wise Owls, and happy Thursday. Boys and girls, we have a new splash for you. We have some children who will be starting school on Monday, October 5th. Those are students in pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, and first grade, and also students in special education with a modified curriculum whose parents selected the schoolhouse model. So your homework and your parents' homework is to find out which model they selected, um, and if they don't remember, there's an icon on their state school's app that they can check or they can call the school to make sure that they know whether you're supposed to be reporting to school on Monday or not. Students in grades two through five will be starting um, school on Wednesday, October 7th, okay? And because we're getting ready to welcome some children back into their building, um, we need to have our teachers um, getting ready for you. So uh, tomorrow, Friday, October 2nd, will be a teacher planning day. Boys and girls, don't forget, we still need for you to please finish the iReady diagnostic because that is still due at this time. Boys and girls, today is the first day of October, a brand new month, and it's also time for us to reflect on our new values because values matter. During the month of October, we're gonna be looking for responsibility and children who behave in responsible ways. So we're looking for students of the month and this is what we're focusing in during the month of October, responsibility, which means that we are accountable for our own, the, for our own actions. So when you do something wrong, you can't blame somebody else because ultimately it was your choice to do that action. So we take responsibility um, for what we do and we also act responsibly and think independently. And when things are wrong, we don't do them. That, especially when it comes to bullying because October is also bullying prevention month. So we always say no to bullying and we act responsibly, especially during the month of October. My favorite part, and you can see that I'm quite happy because our attendance has definitely improved. We went from 91.4% on Tuesday to 94.5% on Wednesday. So that was a big jump, and I am definitely elated, which means I'm very happy. Classes with 100% attendance yesterday we had in pre-K, we had Ms. Padillo and Ms. Ferdinand. In kindergarten, we had Ms. Garcia Iñiguez and Mr. Rodriguez. In first grade, we had Ms. Houston and Ms. Monroe. In second grade, we had Ms. Gomez, Ms. Houston, and Ms. Monroe. In third grade, we had Ms. Chavez, Ms. Cassie, and Ms. Vidal. In grade four, we had Ms. Bonin, Ms. Patino, and Ms. Vidal. And in fifth grade, we had Mr. Cheney, Ms. Coolen, and Ms. P. Rodriguez. So congratulations to those classes, and we hope to see more names tomorrow. Also, an update on our tree. We have been able to add some more classes to our 20 day um, nest. So we have some teachers who are still in working towards their 20. I'm sure we have a lot of teachers working towards their first 10 days with 100% attendance. But the ones who just made it to 20 days of perfect attendance are Ms. Houston, Ms. Coolen, Ms. Monroe, and Ms. P. Rodriguez. So congratulations to those classes. We hope more of you join you guys in the 20 um, day nest and we're now looking to see who's going to be the first class to make it to 30 days. Those are all my announcements. Have a terrific Thursday. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Dr. Lopez. 
So as she mentioned, tomorrow is a teacher work day, so there is no school for students. And today is the very last meal distribution happening at our school from 4 to 6 p.m. Since school is opening next week, the meals will be distributed during breakfast and lunch at their usual time. So today is the last meal distribution from 4 to 6 p.m. By the way, we're getting ready to come back. Do you need a uniform shirt or a mask? Visit our OHES member hub store to purchase them. And tonight is our Texas Roadhouse family night. Dine in or take out from 4 to 10 p.m. And since tomorrow is a teacher work day, you can stay out a little later. So stop by our Texas Roadhouse family night tonight. And as Dr. Lopez also mentioned, don't forget, you got to get that iReady assessment done, reading and math by tomorrow. And our virtual book fair is coming to an end, guys. There's only a few days left to shop. It ends on Sunday. So during Dr. Lopez's announcement, and in case anybody was absent yesterday, I want to refresh this. Tomorrow, October 2nd, will be a teacher work day. Monday, October 5th, will be the return day for pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, and students on the ESC modified curriculum who chose the schoolhouse model. Our second, third, fourth, and fifth graders will return on Wednesday, October 7th. So if you go on your Dade Schools app, as a parent, you will see this return to school icon. When you click on that, it will show you either physical or virtual My School Online. So check that if you're not sure what you chose or you can always call the school and they will verify. Only students who chose physical will be returning to school. All others will remain on the My School Online until we move to phase three or perhaps even for the rest of the year. So for those students who are returning to the schoolhouse model, there are some important things that you need to remember. Face masks are mandatory all day long for all children and all teachers. So a good idea is to at least bring two face masks. Keep one book, at least keep one spare face mask in your book bag in case something happens, if you sneeze on it, if it gets wet, if it falls on the ground and it gets dirty. So it's a good idea to at least have two face masks in, so we have a backup face mask in case. Also, you should bring in the workbooks that you picked up from school, all your reading workbooks, your science, your social studies, your math, unless your teacher tells you otherwise. If your teacher tells you to leave it at home, then you do that, but otherwise, you should bring those workbooks in with you when you come to school. The school supplies, bring your school supplies that you've been using at home. The same things that your teacher told you that you need, bring those things with you when you come to the building. Also remember there will be no water fountains available. So bring a refillable water bottle with you. So you can always refill it in the refilling stations and you have water for the day. Also parents after school care will be available. So if you are in need of that, please call the school to make those arrangements. Parents be aware that parents will not be allowed into the building. Parents will be dropping off at the curb. And so prepare your children for that. Maybe do a drive by the school so that your kids can be a little bit prepared of what the building looks like, where they're gonna be going. So be aware of that. I would also, speaking of being prepared, I would also start practicing wearing those face masks because it's gonna be a long day with a face mask if you haven't ever worn one. And parents, you are also needing to do a health screening of your child, take their temperature, make sure that they are not ill at all. Please, for the sake of our school staying open, do not send sick children to school under any circumstances. Better to be safe than sorry. And just a note that all students receive free lunch and breakfast until December. So lunch is free, breakfast is free, and be on the lookout because there will be more details forthcoming with more specific information for you over the weekend, maybe today. So be on the lookout for that, parents. Our Hispanic Heritage Month moment today is meet Laurie Hernandez. 16-year-old Laurie Hernandez became the third U.S.-born Latina athlete to make the U.S. Women's Gymnastics Olympic team last year. 
during the 2016 Summer Olympics in Brazil. The New Jersey native wowed fans with her energetic routines and powerhouse tumbling, helping the U.S. to take home the gold in women's gymnastics team competition. Wow, I wonder if we have any Olympic gymnasts in our school. And here is my thoughtful Thursday note. One small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. So here's for thinking positively and wishing you all a very wonderful Thursday and a phenomenal weekend.